After Effects, Motion Graphics, Animation. All right, I said my keywords to do well in the search rankings, but in this video, I wanna show you how to create a cyberpunk or silhouette city all right here in After Effects. No other software, no plugins, all created right here inside of After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is doing awesome today. And if you wanna help out our channel, be sure to smash, destroy that like button because it helps us out tremendously. But this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this from scratch, this silhouette city. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And this is great if you wanna do like explainer videos or if you just wanna create your own like cartoon or you know anything in the realm of creating a city so let's jump into our tutorial let's get started all right we have after effects loaded up and if you want to follow along with our tutorial you can download our project files for free so here we are in a blank composition the only thing you're going to have to download is a black cityscape which i'll link this in the description if you want to download it from freepix.com absolutely free so you're going to need this cityscape so when you have this in here what you want to do is come here and grab the rectangle tool and just mask out you know one of the cityscapes like this and what we'll do is we'll click on this continuously rasterize icon and we'll hit S on keyboard for scale and we'll scale this up. And of course, we'll, we, we will position this downward and we want to kind of put this somewhere in the middle of our composition. And one thing I would do is go to effect, generate and grab fill and set it to black. Okay, so now let's go ahead and create the sun that we see here, really easy to do this. So we'll come here, grab the ellipse tool and we'll change our fill color to something nice and warm, maybe nice and orange there. And we'll draw out a perfect circle by holding down shift on our keyboard like this. Okay, awesome. And we can put this right in the center of our composition and we'll leave it there. And what we'll do right off the bat is we'll hit P on keyboard forward position and we'll add a keyframe for this and we'll move forward in time, you know, however long we want this to be and we'll move the sun upward. So we'll have some animation in here. Okay, awesome. Then let's go to effect transition and let's grab uh, Venetian blinds. And let's go ahead and increase the transition completion up to like say 30%. And we'll come here to direction and set it to 90 degrees. Then let's come in here and let's go to effect, stylize, and let's grab the glow effect. We'll change up the glow radius up to 30%. We'll come here and we'll duplicate the effect. And we'll set the glow radius up to like say 250. And one thing we need to do is make sure we come here to the fill color and we just find like that perfect orange. Because once you find the perfect orange by darkening it down, you know, you can kind of really get the you know, the perfection of that glow effect. And I think that's great. <clears throat> so then what I want to do is take our sun layer, go to edit, duplicate, come here to the bottom layer, go to effect, blur and sharpen and grab a CC radial fast blur. And I'm going to come here and set this zoom to brightest and set the amount up to 90. And one thing we must do is put the city layer on top of the sun layer here. So you can see, boom, we got our city going there and we're very close to making, you know, this look a lot better. So first what we want to do is kind of create a floor here. So what I'll do is come here, grab the rectangle tool and set this to black. And I'm just going to draw out a rectangle to create a floor right beneath our city layer. And I'll put this right below the city layer. So let's go ahead and start to illuminate the scene a little bit more with a little bit of fog here. Really easy to do this. So let's go ahead and create a new solid here call it fog and we'll go to effect noise and grain and we'll add fractal noise so I don't love using fractal noise but it's just an incredibly powerful effect so we're not gonna do much here but what we're gonna do is come here to the brightness and we'll set this down just by a little bit and we'll come here to the transform settings come here to scale and we'll set this up to like maybe 620 <clears throat> and then come to the complexity and set this up to 19 look at that beautiful and now let's come here to evolution alt click the stopwatch and type in time asterisk 200 and that will allow us to animate this layer. All right, so toggle switch the modes and set the blend mode for this layer to screen so we can see through this. And let's go ahead and make sure this layer is right above our sun layers right here. Beautiful. Then let's come here to effect color correction curves. So what we'll do is bring down our curves here by a little bit so we'll darken this down. Go to the red channel. We'll go ahead and bring this up. Go to the green channel. Maybe we'll bring this down and then go to the blue channel, last one, and we'll bring this down as well to kind of punch out these orangey tones. So go ahead and play with those to match the color of your sun. All right, and one thing I wanna do is come here and grab the ellipse tool and just kind of create a mask from the center of our sun here, going outward like that. I think that's fine. And then you hit F on your keyboard for mask feather and just feather this out. So we're gonna have like this sun fog, if you will. And I wanna duplicate our fog effect. And I'm gonna come back here to the transform settings and come here to scale and set this down to maybe like 150. All right, so let's go ahead and fill this out and create some stars. Go to layer, new solid. Make sure that solid is set to a white solid and call it stars now let's come here to effect simulation and we're gonna grab cc star burst and i don't mean the candy and we'll come here to scatter set this to 50 come here to speed and set that to zero and we'll come here to size set that down to 20 and we'll go ahead and make sure that this layer is right underneath our floor layer 
and behind that so boom now we got some stars in here and one thing you're going to want to do is probably add some animation to this so what i'm going to do is hit r and keyboard for rotation all click the stopwatch and type in time asterisk one and i'll just hit s on keyboard for scale and kind of scale this stuff by a little bit so now we're gonna have a very slight animation here and believe it or not we're almost done you know it feels like it's gonna be a big difference for what we're about to do here to really bring this to the next level but it's really easy to do what we're about to do and of course since we don't do sponsors on this channel i want to give a huge shout out to our 1400 plus motion graphics professionals pack right here for after effects so this is our motion graphics professionals pack where we have over 1400 templates in it one of the categories we have here are title templates and how this works we preview a title template and we click on apply and it automatically applies a full title animation to any project that we're working on and we can go into that composition and we can change out our title to say whatever we need it to say and we can easily change the colors of a click of a button and our title will update in our main composition and also in this pack we have a handful of other different types of objects and templates that you can use but one of our categories are effects and if we want to be able to add say a glitch effect to this entire composition we come here to our glitch category we apply effect and now boom we have a full glitch effect within a few clicks of a button to our entire composition that we didn't have to create we have a handful of other elements in here like transitions and we also have 600 animated promos in this pack so if you're looking to save time while of course producing awesome work you can take a look at any of the packs we have off our website i will link them below if you do pick up anything you will be supporting our channel so thank you very much all right so now we just have to finish the floor here and we're going to be looking good so first thing we're going to do is create a new solid and what we're going to do is make sure the width and height are like 5,000 by 3,000. I know that's crazy, but for the grid, we need it to be like that. And make sure the color is white. Click OK. We'll come here to Effect, Generate, and we'll grab the grid effect. Come here to Corner Point, set that to Width and Height sliders. Set the width to 150, and of course, the height to 150. And what we're going to do is, if you want, you can animate the anchor here, which will animate the grid. Um, that's completely up to you, but you see that will move over. A little bit of animation there. You can make this layer a 3D layer and hit R and keyboard for rotation. Come here to X rotation, set that to 90 degrees. And we'll hit P and keyboard for position and we'll Y position this downward like that. Beautiful. So now you have a little bit of animation here. But we want to have this fade in with our black city here. You know. So to do that, what I'm going to do is something kind of simple. We're going to create a new solid. Click on make comp size and change the color to black. Click OK. And what I'm going to do is take the solid and just bring it right below the city here. And then I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and I'm going to come here and simply just create a mask like this and hit F on keyboard for mask feather and really feather this out. And I can widen out the mask by grabbing the two bottom points here and just stretching that out. And that will fade it a lot better. And we'll come here to our grid color and we can change this to kind of match our scene here beautiful all right so now what i want to do is take our floor layer and bring it to the bottom it's a little bit counterintuitive with what we're about to do because you can see the stars here but simply what we're going to do here is grab our sun layer and we're going to duplicate it bring it right above the floor layer and simply what we're going to do is hit p and keyboard for position delete the keyframes by clicking the stopwatch and we'll just bring our sun down right here okay and we'll come here and we'll go to layer new adjustment layer Make sure that layer is right above Sun 3 and the floor. Go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, and grab Compound Blur. Set the maximum blur to 160, and check on Invert Blur. Go to the Blur layer and set that to the Floor layer. All right, and one thing we absolutely do, need to do is get rid of these stars. So what we're going to do is take our star layer, and we're going to go to Layer, Pre-Compose, Move All Attributes to New Composition, click OK. Grab the Rectangle tool and just create a mask to mask out the bottom stars there. All right, so to tie this together to really make this look like this, what we're going to do is go to layer, new adjustment layer. And we'll put the adjustment layer right above the fog layer. And we'll come here to effect, color correction, curves. And we'll come here to red channel. And we'll kind of create this little reverse S curve here to really brighten that up. Go to the green channel. We'll bring this down by a little bit. And come here to the blue channel and bring this down as well. That'll really glow out the scene there. And let's go ahead and create another adjustment layer. Make sure that that's at the top. Go to Effect, Noise and Grain, and Add Noise. Set that to 16%, Uncheck Use Color Noise. And that's just going to do a great job of the scene. And also to kind of pop this out a little bit more, we'll come here to the Fog Layers. Grab both of them. Hit M on your keyboard twice. And you can increase the max expansion up to, say, 200 for both of them. That'll help put the finishing touches on your Cyberpunk or really 
Silhouette City. So that is our tutorial on creating this really cool cyberpunk silhouette, whatever you want to call it, city. Hopefully now you have a handful of awesome techniques to help you produce your very own work. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.